Hello, this is a continuation of the outline to show you where we're going and how some of the power tools that we use can make it easier and uh, so that you can visualize it better. Okay, so here we get on the rack and we need to go down this rack and we need to get off of the rack, come down and get on another rack that's going this way. This is the route we will take. This way, off of the rack, down to the level on another one and into the second rack and this way. So that's what we are accomplishing so let's do some mirrors and orbit commands that's what this is about let's take these set and let's do a copy and we'll put these over here a couple copies escape now the first thing we want to do is a mirror command and this is because we want to come down on the same side of the rack so if we rotate it we'd be on the if we rotated rotated it this way we'd be on the opposite side of the rack if we want to stay uniform with our plan let's stay on the same side of the rack okay so here we gonna this is a command called 3d mirror and there's a, I'm going to set up the, uh, what we need. And what we need is three points. So let's do that first. I'm doing a line here and a line there. That's a plane, so to speak. Three points to find a plane. So let's do the 3D mirror again. mirror 3d let's select the objects okay enter then it says options down here in the bottom uh, I like three points because it allows you to be very much control I haven't got all those options under my belt yet but we'll take one first point on the mirror plane there second point on the mirror plane as you see down here in the command line and also the third point and then it'll ask you whether you want to delete the source and you type in n give it an answer enter take a look it is over here where this in, was created but uh, now we can rotate it which is the command that we're going to use next 3d rotate and here you choose a base point on which you rotate and we want to turn this well just watch what we we want to turn it horizontally on that plane we type in an angle and see as we turn it okay so now we have created a uh, mirror copy that is rotated let's move this in to the area that we want to uh, use it let's connect right there you see so let's get rid of this uh, well we have our vertical now we need to get back on a rack so we need to be upside down so to speak uh, with a rack in here going this way a rack going this way so let's get rid of this stuff here now 
how would we do that so we could You can do it in many ways, uh, but let's try rotating in position that we need. Let's rotate this puppy. And we need to 3D rotate. Enter. Pick a point to rotate on. And I'm going to choose this. I think I got it right. Okay, yeah, see? So I still need to rotate this that way, 90 degrees. So let's do another rotate. In this case, Best command, I guess. 3D rotate, and let's choose a point. Right there. And that's the direction we want to go. So you see, we have coming down on the side of the rack. So this pattern of coming down on the side of the rack is something that we use often. Let us move this right over to here, it's really not going to join, but it just gives you a position. Now you see the difference is that this plane, we need to do some sort of get from this plane to this plane, and we would do it with something similar to this L shaped on all our lines. We'd have to go this way and this way and then connect with our vertical. So we need to have quite a bit of space between this rack and this rack and the minimum would be about 10 inches for this particular, I think it's 11 inches, particular, com, two nine, you're going to have two 90s, a lot of 90s back to back is what you're going to have. So you'd have something going up, and you have something going west, then you have something going south, and then you have something going up. And that would be what we need to create. in the sense of getting back and forth on racks. This, uh, let me, let me put this over a little bit more. Let's move this from here to there. Kind of give you the right angle. It's doing ch ch Move this here and say no. And you see how that joins in. Of course, this is the wrong kind of staggering. This one probably is correct. We could do the next one. Well, maybe not. Maybe we could do this more often. Let's uh, try copy. Let's try a little toying around. Let's go from here to there. 
there, there. Notice that I am looking for the little green box. And connecting these lines, it makes it easy. Oh, all right, let's see what we got to come up with here. I don't even have a clue. Oh, see, I know they got shifted, but anyway, that gives you the idea of what we're doing is we're going to go this way, this way, and then we're going to turn down. So that's a 90, 90. It's going to be 90s like this up this way that way and up all of this is done pretty much on the edge of the rack 